Julia Ogiejo. Grew up in an area where I may not have been aware of the impact of day-to-day -day racism. My name is Warda Hassan. I am a Tottenham local. I've grown up here and I was born in the UK, in Enfield. My parents came in the, I'd say the late 80s, 88. Ken, looking back to what you said, how do you reflect to the film that you saw? I was involved in the riot. Uh, 1985. Uh, even then, I was living in Hackney, and I can remember, you know, I'm feeling so incensed because it just seems like we, uh, we just seem to be so powerless. M Martha, I have known as one of the leading people, very quiet looking, uh -huh. until you fire her off, and then she really goes for it. My name is Martha o Osamo. Um, I am. Um, what they call activists. But um, deep down, all I wanted in life is to have a situation where everybody is allowed to be themselves, where what you pay in is shared out evenly amongst everybody. A real politician, you could hear that. Narendra. I came to Britain almost as an exile, because I grew up in Zimbabwe, or Rhodesia as it then was, and just turned 20, and the Smith regime then was gonna call me up into the army. And my father packed my suitcase for me and says, you're on the plane tonight before you get your call-up papers. In 1982, I was elected, and I was amongst the first, I think at that time there were five or six other black councils throughout London. And I'll say this with, with no modesty whatsoever. If London's got a reputation, Harringay in particular has a reputation of being a welcoming place, of being a friendly place that will speak up for itself, that won't take any nonsense from anybody else, it's because of what happened on that night in 1981. Because that's where those young people from the Wood Green Shopping Centre said, such laws, we're not having it. And that's what's happened from then on. And from then on, I was elected to the council in 1982. I was the main organizer for Bernie when he got selected in 1987. When Bernie became the MP, the count was in this building, in that hall where the wedding is taking place. So when we had that event about uh, uh, the Windrush gener generation a few weeks back, and Sonia, you gotta listen to this because I'm gonna mention you in this. Sonia called me and said, what about all the other people that have made this place? Not, not this place, Selby Centre, but Haringey. And what you see on the wall around here, right, is not just Bernie Grant or Jeremy Corbyn or me or Martha or, or Alex or anybody. These are all the change makers. This is what black history is about because it's about us. History is about every human being that has made Haringey <clears throat> into the kind of place that we want it to be and that we will not allow it to, to recede. And you know, there was, a, there was in the recent past an effort to take it all back. And there was a 5,000 houses were gonna be sold off over there. All the schools were gonna be handed over to private people. Every little thing that we saw as a public service. Half the libraries are customer services centers. And yet, there are people around here, you maybe you, yourself as well, that use those libraries to study because at home they're too overcrowded or they don't have the, nice, the kind of atmosphere that you need. And if all the Haringey schools are doing well, how come the unemployment levels are still so high? So those changes that we've kind of overseen, because I'll tell you now, in 81, it wasn't a pleasant place. No. You know, you, you heard earlier about school, schools busing. Nobody talks about schools busing now. But the big difference is that that was the first generation that sometimes thought, like Martha was saying, we're here for a few years, we're going to go back. For me, it was, I'm going to be in exile for a few years, I'm going to go back.